Guatemalan textiles from the Alta Verapaz are interesting from a collector's perspective. Uh, I've been researching lots of old collections of museums, and I have found that there's uh, that there are many collections that have a, a real gap in their material from the Alta Verapaz, where the traditional places uh, to be collected in Guatemala have always been the Western Highlands, and the Alta Verapaz and the Pacific Slope are two places that have been ignored in many collections. One of the interesting things that I find about pieces from the Alta Verapaz are that they, uh, that they show uh, an early introduction of mercerized threads. I've seen collections from the 1930s, the 1940s, the 1920s that have El Tavarapaz pieces and already there's a significant presence of mercerized threads. Now, this is typically in colored uh, uh, brocade work, but the, the white on white material is really interesting because there are the only place that I know of in Guatemala where it's done on a backstrap loom is in the Alta Verapaz. Uh, there are significant, well that's not completely true, in uh, San Pedro Sactapecas and in the areas around Shela there are also some uh, white on white work that's done on a backstrap loom certainly not as fine as the work in the Alta Verapaz. Uh, 